This podcast is brought to you by Cube Gallery. Cube Gallery is a progressive art space in Cebu, Philippines, providing network and exhibit opportunities for contemporary artists with whom they work closely with and promote beyond the local reach. For more than five years, Cube Gallery has mounted shows of engaging artworks and have also represented the Visayas region in various international fairs. Aside from its physical space in Crossroads, Benilad, Cebu City, you can check out Cube Gallery's online collection on artsy.net slash cube-gallery. This month at Cube Gallery, myriad by Lian Reboha, the guy who I interviewed in this episode. So Lian explores the complexities of the human psyche with his fourth solo exhibition, Myriad, opening on September 26, 6 p.m. at Cube Gallery. If you already know who Lian Reboha is, and if you're already listening to this episode, you already know that he has a show in a few days, or just had a show, so make sure to drop by Cube Gallery to check out his work. This podcast is also brought to you by Hondurao Pizza. I've had a lot of conversations with musicians, and many of them talk about how Honduro Pizza has always been a great venue for local music. I myself have had many memories of playing music in Honduro Pizza, notably a solo acoustic stint that I kind of want to forget, but it was so different that that's the only one that really stands out to me. But with Rescue Hero, I've played many gigs in Honduro Pizza, and they've always been a great place for local music to thrive. So if you're looking for a place to chill, a spot that supports local artists and musicians, a place to enjoy delicious homegrown pizza and ice cold below zero beer, look no further. Visit Honduro Pizza. They have many branches which you can find listed on their website at HondurauPizza.com or you can have their wonderful pizza delivered to you via Grab Food or Food Panda. Thank you, Andoro Pizza, for sponsoring the episode. Let's get to the show. Welcome to 032 Conversations, the podcast where we talk to creatives, see how they live, and how they do their work. I'm your host, Carlo Villarica. Yeah. I, there's somebody working outside from where I'm recording. There's like a... There's a banging. I think he's using a hammer. He's doing something. This continues the struggle of 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 uh, recording these interviews in a house where you don't really have control of the environment. You don't have control of the sonic environment, the sound environment. So over the weekend, I went on a bike ride. I usually do that now. So the uh, a lot the past I don't know a few months or so I usually go on a Saturday bike ride and a Sunday bike ride. Saturday for the most part it's kind of like a solo ride and I just use that as a way to do like a hard long ride, something where I push myself. And then the Sunday ride is usually something like that's fun, so it's like a social ride, hang out, hang out with friends. So uh, this Sunday, uh, my cousin and I. We explored this area in Talamban, Cebu, and then it's so cool because it's you climb up this mountain, and then all of a sudden, this lake appears in the mountain. Like it comes out of nowhere. This lake, and there's like a little lake house there, and um, it was fun. We got up there. We it's like it's nice, like gravel type roads. So you know, we have like gravel bikes, which is fun. Which we, I don't know. See if we can make that a thing here in Cebu. Hopefully, there'll there'll be a gravel event in the future, or you know, maybe once I have time and figure out all the logistics and everything, maybe I can organize one myself, or at the very least, organize like a proper long gravel ride. That'd be fun too. Anyway, so the whole I, I like the 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 adventure aspect of what we've been doing in the weekend, but the the unfortunate thing was over this weekend was that uh, my cousin got injured while we were going down this this road so it was a little downhill and then the road looked innocent enough like it just you know it was a dirt road but it just looked pretty clean you know like it was a nice clean road and then it and then there was a corner but still going downhill but when what as you hit the corner it becomes rocky really quickly and then when i when i went downhill when i reached the rocky part 
I was able to control the bike, and unfortunately, my cousin wasn't able to do so, and she fell and uh, fortunately just sprained her ankle. Nothing serious, I think. We'll see. I don't, I'm pretty sure nothing was serious. But, you know, we were there, and uh, it was a bit difficult getting out of there because of the remote location, but we figured it out. We got a motorcycle. Some guy with a motorcycle was able to bring his bike up there, and then she rode out on the motorcycle and somehow i just basically pushed and pulled the two bicycles back and um yeah so you know uh just it's uh it's honestly a reminder for me of our fragility you know how fragile we are because i think i spend most of my time thinking you know, I don't say it, but you know, in my head, like I think I'm invincible. Basically, I don't think anything wrong is gonna happen to me. But every time, every time uh, someone I'm close to gets injured, or I'm in a situation where somebody gets injured, or I get injured myself, like a few months ago, I sprained my ankle, uh, severely sprained my ankle playing basketball, and you know, had to walk with crutches for a few days, and nothing serious, but. It reminded me of exactly that. That these things you can be feeling a hundred percent in one and then a second later something's broken, something's sprained. Hopefully that's the to the extent of it. So just a quick reminder to myself, something can happen. So, you know, chill out, do uh, enjoy life. Ah, I'm talking about enjoy life. Of course I enjoy life. And then uh, you know, but just relax on the on the dangerous stuff. Actually, that's really that's a big reason why I didn't get a mountain bike because with a mountain bike, you can really push those downhills and then knowing my my personality, I would probably take it to the edge a little bit, you know, generally. So the nice thing with 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 having this uh these gravel bikes, it's basically like road bikes with drop bars and big tires you can't really go through super gnarly downhill stuff so you're kind of forced to get off the bike so normally if my cousin and i went through that road and if we saw it ahead if we weren't if if because that because when we turned the corner we didn't see the road but if we saw the road ahead of time we would have probably just walked going down that's why i haven't done like you know i haven't gotten a mountain bike because it's just i just don't want to get injured really this episode is also sponsored by Kent Combs. Full disclosure, Kent Combs is owned by my really good friend, Jason Almendras. He's one of the guys who co-founded 032. And if there's one guy I trust with good taste, it's Jason. He always had a penchant for liking like really cool stuff, really high quality stuff. So in fact, before he got married, I believe his description in social media was like, I quote, I like nice things, which was code for really cool, fashionable, high-quality stuff. So if he decides to bring something in, I know it's really good. So he brought in Kent Combs. So guys, it's time to stop using your girlfriend's hairbrush and get yourself a decent comb. And not those mass-produced things you get in the grocery. Yeah. I'm talking about Kent Combs. Kent Combs are handmade combs from Britain's oldest hairbrush manufacturer. Do your hair a favor. Buy a Kent comb. So the handmade Kent combs, uh, they're made from large sheets of cellulose acetate. They're not molded, so the material is tactile, flexible, and strong. Kent combs have rounded teeth, which ensure a smooth and comfortable action that glides effortlessly through your hair without scratching or damaging your scalp. So you can follow them on Instagram, Kent Philippines at K E N T Philippines, or you can order at the assembly online. Head over to assembly.032.com. There's a selection of Kent combs there, and if you use the promo code Kent K E N T, you'll get ten percent off. So use the promo code K E N T on assembly.032.com. Thank you, Kent Combs, for sponsoring the podcast. Speaking of sponsors and partnerships, one of the greatest things about this partnership with Cube Gallery, I talked about them in the top on the top of the pod, um, is that they give me a heads up for upcoming shows. And 
the nice thing with them is they get a lot of artists who I like personally and you know they really are on my list of people to interview. So since I know more or less what their show schedule is, that gives me a heads up. I know what the upcoming shows are. So if there's an artist that I want to interview, I can time it. It's pretty much like this one with Lian Reboja. So I knew that Lian was coming up. So I uh, sent him a message. Thankfully, he was game for an interview. And uh, so this episode is coming out a few days before his show. Helps me, helps the artist, helps Cube. We're all happy. So if you don't know who Lian Reboja is, Lian Reboja is a full-time artist. He was born in Davao. He moved to Cebu and I believe he went to school here. Uh, yeah, he went to stu- he went to the University of the Philippines, Cebu. Lian, whose works have been attributed towards illustration art more than just traditional painting, has created works in formal art settings such as galleries and pop-up art exhibition venues in the local scene. He also goes by the moniker Leanderthal, which is commonly associated with the dream cloud icon noticeable in his works. It's like this kid with his hands up on a cloud and he's color red. We talk about it. I'll put a picture in the show notes. Reboha delves into creating sporadic and colorful characters, usually having a closely relative appearance with beasts and animals. We talk about his work. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Sometimes like you get these descriptions and then it's very difficult for me to to get through it. But I do enjoy his work. It's like funny, cartoony monsters. Should I just put funny, cartoony monsters in its description? Or should I go, or should I say, uh, Reboha delves into creating sporadic and colorful characters, usually having a closely relative appearance with beasts and animals. I don't know, pros and cons, which, uh, description, which descriptor I'd prefer. Leon's autobiographical themes usually signify events and memories, human behavior, experiences, and emotions set in a metaphorical way of artistic expression. His art relays all these concepts in a riddle pack with intricately drawn and painted elements. I just like his art. It, I really do. It's going to be hard for me to explain it on a podcast, podcast, in audio format. So I'm going to link a couple of his work on the show notes as well. And uh, before we get to that interview, if you are interested in anything that I'm doing, if you want to ask me anything, then send an email to info at 032.com with the subject line question. If it's a good one, I'll share it in a future episode and I will answer that question as well. And if this is your first time to listen to 032 Conversations, please subscribe. We're everywhere you can find podcasts. So name it, we're there, we're on Spotify, we're on iTunes, we're on Google Podcasts, we're anywhere you can find podcasts. Let's get to that interview with Lian Raboha. Then usually mga 3 o'clock mag start na ko ana. Pero slow pa akong progress ana by mga gabi na like 6 o'clock diyan ako murag murag peak na ko ba. So last na till next morning. So you're one of those people, Amurag. I guess slow starter, uh-huh. bro. Once you get started, okay, do guys at na six uh-huh. to six to six, six uh-huh. to four, six to five. Mm-hmm. So mo na derecho derecho na ko na. Basta mo ang mo lapas ng twelve ano. Mura na sa siguro siya placebo or something like. Basta mo abot na ng twelve nga awake pagyod ko derecho na ko na. Bisag wala ako mag coffee or anything. Oh, ba? Mm. Dili ko ingana ba like if I have work, <laughs> anya, bisag any kind of work. Mm. After 2 hours, maybe 3 hours. Mura makatal na ko naghinay na akong brain, uh-huh. wala may gana. Uh-huh. Ni ka maka dirt sa dirt sa ka. Oh, uh kuan sad um while mag artwork ko kay mag watch ko something or mag listen ko like kanang mag tanaw ba kong documentary while nag-artwork. So, at least na ko input lain. I like something in the background. Oo, uh, murag para keep out, uh, ma- makamatara ko ba nga, dili ganit ka ng, ka ng anak ragit ko sa akong artwork. Kay, 
na instance na dukaon ko so dapat na ay something like a distraction mm-hmm. you don't find nga murag it kay i understand if audio mm-hmm. kay audio you're not using when your eyes uh-huh. so you don't really need it's not like you're reading something ba mo uh-huh. man problem like listening to audio if i listen to audio and i need to read mm-hmm. di ko ka I don't do well na no one and uh-huh. both. Like, dinanoon ko ka read, isa ko ka mm. No? But if I'm doing something, I don't draw. But I would assume nga if drawing, murag, pwede rag yung words mo. mo. Mm-hmm. So, but, if you're watching like a documentary or a movie, mm-hmm. on saan mo na nimo, doesn't like, kanang mabahe ng attention. Oh, like your visual attention? Oh, kanang sad, murag, na-appeal na sa kong system na mo, mo stop you go like, mo balin balin ko ba kay sa kong artwork sad kay kanang mura siya over saturated ang color so sakit siya sa mata so mm. makadugay kung magtotok la ko so mo shift ko from time to time like siguro mga 1 minute or 2 minutes sana then balik na sad ko so constant ko an siya mura ko ga altab og kanang mo ba oh anak gid niya mura eventually na anad na niya kanang usog ko muli ko good dali ra ko ma distract ba so kana well magwatch pa ko kay usahay kay magphone na sad ko so ana mo distracted you go per me pero at the same time magko ani ko artwork ko unusual kay na kay i find nga kay prolific ba kay ka as in daghan kay ka uh-huh. work <laughs> no <laughs> diba uh-huh. and then <laughs> yeah daghan kay ka work and then like usually I feel like the ones kung mara mga ingana is they're really able to focus but oh, uh, unusual kayo lagi, nga. Lagi o. Oh, Mawagid. Medyo bisag ako matingal ako kanang kanang aware gyo kung uh, dali kung ma-distract ko pero somehow kayo makapul, ma-pull off man nga mara mga katiwas kong Arthur kana, or dako ang agi. So, so gi-embrace na lang ni Mong the no, fact na uh, ma-distracted uh, ka. Oh, dali gyo kung ma-distract gyo. Like, Kina ako nga sabay-sabay ba. Hmm. Before we continue, by uh, one last thing, actually for levels, gihapo. Mm. Nalinga lang kung amurag alasays ka motog, <laughs> no? Um, <laughs> can you state your name and what you do? Um, uh, I'm Lian Reboha and I'm a full-time visual artist uh, based in Cebu. So, 28 years old, graduated from UP, 2013. Yeah, I read that you almost took up medicine. Yeah. <laughs> medicine course so medyo turning point to siya nga plot twist ba so si um thankful sa ko kay akong parents kay supportive sila so ako agi tong uh, ganahan nga mag med med course ko then last minute mo rag ni ana akong mama ba nga um why what if try ka og kanang mag arts related nga course so ha, na aday na diri sa Cebu ana 2008 pa na Yeah, di, di mo na ka taga Cebu, no? Hmm, Davao mong ko. Davao. Then, then, then nag-base na noon, yun may dere sa Cebu. Then, mo to, ni Ana siya, na may UP Cebu, so, what if try ni mo dito, uh, na, na ay talent test, na na, so, oh, sige daw, ang sako ato, kay try-try lang, unta. Then, pag-abot na ko dito, murag nag-thesis defense, man to sila, gikan, so, ang mga artworks nila, kay nakagawas. So, murag kong na culture shock, bang, ato, oh, dagaan na mayuhay, so, murag kong, Sige daw, mura ganahan ko anin da. So, no ato. Eventually, good decision siya nga. Ba't lang, nai talent test? Ah, mura siya entry sa UP nga. Uh, if dili ka naka-take o katong upcut, uh, pwede ka mura take atong mura talent talent test mura gana. So, i-determine imong skill sa arts really? by, uh, by atong exam. So, like art art-related ng mga exams, then kanang test yun nga mag-ipadraw. So, mag-draw ka? Oo, oh, ipadrawing ka. Na. What do so, they say? They say what? Ah, uh, na at katong amo ang time kay na siya ay more still life. Ah, na, ipadraw. like then, fruits? Ano, or... um, kato siya kay sculpture siya. Mo ba? Uh, uh, so, kato kay ang akong agi man ato kay medyo kuan more anime, anime pa ba? Anime, anime yan. So, medyo more agisudo ah, yung more Mura sa ko, ako kasagang ato ba, on saon ako. So, medyo rough git kaysa, pero na okay raman. For good enough to get into... Mm-hmm. So, you took 
fine arts sa uh, Wait, painting sa UP. Painting in UP. But kibaw ka murag, unsa ka, I feel like, in a way ba, unsa ka ka lucky nga, because, uh, because I think, no no fault of their own, mm. pero nakatouch ko ane gamay with, uh, with uh, kidlat ka ng murag, like, yung parents, like, dili, dili, mm-hmm. he didn't g- give me a sense nga murag, they embraced the whole artist thing right away uh, ba. Uh, uh. Onya, Okay, in the end, nothing against taking mm-hmm. medicine, no? But like, if dili good ni mo, murag, I don't know, did you really want to take medicine? Oo, gana, ay, kanong prior pa sa koan, pag sunaw so college, kay, kanang hilig na ko mabasa o like, mga books, ana, malingaw ko ba? Tanaw sa koan ng anatomy, ana, so, katon. Pero, eventually, pag abot na nako sa college, murag, naka, naka reminisce ko ba nga, ay sakto ra gid siguro gid nga murag nag fine arts ko kay murag diregyog ko ba murag para diregyog ko so mo to ah bro maybe what lang ha maybe said like if you took up medicine maybe murag ma okay ra sad ka ato oh murag okay ra sad murag lingaw mo sad siguro sad to murag, ah okay cuz i was gonna say nga murag kay they were like most parents especially atong parents at their at their uh-huh. At their time, kay murag traditional kayo nga, Kao, you know, kayo. they want, mm. yeah, they want their kids to be lawyers or, mm. or doctors. Murag na, lipay na kayo sila ba? Like, I, like, akong, akong sister, lawyer man. Yeah, mm. of course, lipay kay akong mom. Like, uh, mm. <laughs> lipay kay siya every time na ay ka ng murag milestone. Uh-huh. No? Yeah, but, you know, you also can't blame them ba? Because, no. yeah, murag you, look after man sa sila sa well-being silang anak in the future. So, mm. uh, Pero sila, your parents, more slug ka ng... Oo, oh, maura sa thankful sa di ko nga, support sila. Art- artistic ba ito yung mong parents? Mm, ako mo yung first sa family yun. So, murag, ako gay nilihis na sila tanan kay medyo na background man o ka ng like accountancy or... Ah, beto? Oo, sila tanan. So, siguro if ka ng like sample, mga on me, sa ka ng kami magsabay me, mag-talk na sila o ana nga topic. Murag ako yung ma-upi ba? So, murag, <laughs> oh, murag wak ko kasabot na. Murag ana ba? So, kana. Sorry, wala niya. Niniyon sa ni Murag ni... You didn't... So, accountancy, accountancy. So, murag, wala na ni... Wala na ni mo gigamit a little bit. Kaya, you know, in a way... So, you mentioned you're a full-time artist. Oo. Uh-huh. ba? Diba? In a way, you're also a business. Oo, uh-huh. kana. Diba? So, mm. so medyo... Uh, like siya nga uh, pamaagi siguro for me kay ang sa ilaha good kay like murag kanang calculated ang ilang mga moves or kanang ilang mga actions ang sa mua uh, kay business related siya nga sa among arts pero mura siya dala street smart or mura siya kanang discarte high ba or sa ni mo pag showcase ang imong artwork or imong brand or imong I know, but like, that's marketing, uh, that's branding. Yeah. But like, even just, you know, like, how how sometimes, so like, running a business, you know, you have money in, money out. And mm-hmm. then, as an artist, I would assume that, in a way, your income is uncertain. Uh-huh. No? But then, all businesses' income uncertain, man said good. Like, it's mm-hmm. unlike an amurag, if na kay job, na kay salary. Mm-hmm. Diba? But in many cases, Although uncertain ang imong income, in many cases, if you average it out, actually, most likely, mas dako pagani siya than a regular uh, salary. Mm-hmm. Diba? Depending on how successful uh-huh. you are. But never mind, like artist or 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 freelancer. Mm-hmm. Diba? Ana. But like a lot of people, let's say, going to freelance, it's kind of a struggle sometimes because they'll get, let's say, they get so much cash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't know now what to do with it. Yeah. Oh. Na lang, ba? Uh-huh. Did you get some of that? No. Um, oh, kay, sa ako agod, kay ka ng, um, partly man sad kay mo, mo, share ko sa akong income gid sa akong family. So, na if ever ka nang naima bilin sa ako kay murag, murag ganit ka ng buslot o gamot, baka nang, ay, so may gamit anong korta eh, gasto tani so, Pero ang akong, like, gastosan usually good kay materials gyapon. So, balik gyapon siya sa art. So, goods ra ko. Magana mo. Mm. 
So yeah. okay, but you don't have. Do you have like a system of managing um, that? Like if you get this much money, can you a percentage goes to? Uh, oh, oh, na agi apun mo rag mo alat ko like savings for emergency or kanang for the future. Pero mostly good kay kana uh, materials kay siya mataga ka na. Oo, oh, oh, oh. mm. murag mo na ang imong cost of goods kuno oh, eh. Murag pahalipay lang sad sa akong self ko. So art art ya pun siya nga kun. Mm. Padungan. But I want to talk to you about that because you mentioned like you're a full-time artist, di ba? Ah. Uh. So I was wondering how well number the first thing I I I, I like to ask like full-time artists is was there like a moment Kanang when you decided, kibaw ka, kaning art thing, ako na ipada yun. Kay, there's a lot of doubt oh, in the beginning, di ba? Mm, Especially, di ba? So, do you, did you have that like one, did something specific happen or that one specific kanang, moment? Ana? Murag, kanang doubt niya. Murag nakaingon yung kusong self like, mag, kanina yun. Mag, but you made a decision to be an artist or to be... Kanang, ako na yung buhaton, ako na yung pa full-time. Kuan, na anay na hitabo ka tong, usasa siya nga plot twist sa akong kinabuhi ka tong, may engage mo ko nga corporate. Mm. Kay, nasa to yung time nga ang akong family, kay, after no graduate, kay mura ko na passive. Like, mura, di, di ko kabaloon sa akong next move outside college ba. So, kato, medyo... Uy, pagtrabaho na, mura, mura silang nag-doubt po nga, ala sakto ba, gigahani nga, nag-art siya, so, ako saan medyo nag-doubt sad ko ba, so, kato, nag-corporate ko for like, 10 months. When it, this na, is right after graduation? Mga 2014, 15, anak nga, time. Okay. So, kana, mag, nag-corporate ko, nag-work ko, then, muli ko, gyo ko, kanang, mo, mawala gyud akong panghuna-huna ba like ganahan ko mubuhat ani ganahan ko mubuhat ana nya murag ma constrain ma restrict ko ba kay tungod kay na kay trabaho oh nya murag <laughs> uh, nothing against man sa corporate pero murag ma, ma maka hold back ko ba dili ko ka no, it wasn't at, for you uh, like there ganyan. are some people who excel na mo ko imigo nga murag na ko imigo like kanang na siya business owner na mm-hmm. Uh, internet cafe. Mm-hmm. Onya stress kay siya. Mm-hmm. Stress kay siya, wa siya nalipay. Ana, niya hindi yan, yang gi-close niya ni jo, ni di corporate siya. Oo. Yeah. Yeah, corporate niya kay murag mai kay siya. Kasi uh-huh. dakko kay siya sweldo. Oo. Kuan gid siya, comfortable gid siya. Yeah. Onya, yeah, okay siya. So like weekends mm-hmm. na lang gid siya, every, almost every weekend pwede siya mo largo if ganahan siya. Nice. No? Pero mm-hmm. like it just it's it's for different people, ba? So, mm-hmm. like, ikaw, that wasn't for, it's not for me, man said. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, uh-huh. ana, so, like, so, nag-corporate ka, on, yeah? Um, ang nakamurag, nakaliko na ko ato kay Naami offer sa Bacolod nga show. Like, kanang group show. Kami nila Wendell, kami nila Bart Brothers. Amo, ba? Uh, oh. Then, mura siya kanang, mura siya message sa ako, abang, kanang, if siguro mo go ka full-time, um uh, tanawa ni nga uh, like kaning field so murag sa bakolo to pag tanaw na mo sa art work mo oh, grabe ho eh, murag kanang maka inspire ba so murag af- sa mga urban artist sa bakolo uh, so after ato kay medyo murag ko ana ko murag ye yeah, mo kakwito na ko ba murag na ko kanang kato mura siya usa siya nga part then timing ana ami kanang project sa Pueblo Verde nga mural nga dako kay nga wall so murag need to siya gahinan yun og oras so mo to nang pull off na mo then after ato murag quit na gigo murag mao na to murag murag mao na siya ang kanang final deal ba nga murag dapat na kumuquit ganahan na gigumuquit kay ganahan na kumu pursue ani siya nga kuan na field so mo to murag de- December kay ni resign ako so, yeah, okay. especially the way the way you work, oh. you, you you cannot. It see it sounds like huh, to me like the way you work, you spend a lot of time. Kayo. Good, mm. <laughs> making the art. It's not like because mm. I was because uh, usually I think of like people who 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 do 
something outside of the the regular job. Hmm. My my thinking is, sige, okay, you know, a lot of people still need to pay for rent, food, whatever, uh-huh. anak. And then, I think what I usually suggest is, you know, do your nine to five. Hmm. Manya ni off ni mo nine to five. Mo na na imong motorbahon na sa kabalik sa imong hmm. own imong own thing. Whether it is your ambot kanang um nagbake ba sila whatever hmm. or ana or in your case art. Hmm. But like the way imong process, time consuming kayo ba? Nagkurag katosad mo na sa chag usang reason sa katong a habit na ko nga dali ko ma distract like if mag work ko kay nya yeah, mo shift na ko into art work mo rag katag kayo akong akong utok so dili ko maka function og tarong so matagak nga dili ko maka function og tarong sa work di sa ko maka function sa pag art oh yeah yeah mm, so mao na to mo rag mo pili na lang jud ko og one ko an so kato ni make a decision to to be a more full-time artist. Pero like, wala pa kay... Ah, so like, when you went to Bacolod, I guess, okay sad ang reception ato. Hmm, murag... Oo, oh, nindot man sad kay. Pero, kuan pa to, murag, dili pa to, sure, murag, risk yapon to siya nga. Ah, yeah, risk good kay... Uh-huh. Actually, risk good siya because it's not like, na kay recurring income. Oo, oh, kay, oo. Oh, oh, good. Diba? Hmm. So, when you decided to do it, how did you manage to do it? Kay Murag, like, Karun, Karun, like, na, in a way, people are familiar with your work naman now, di ba? Uh-huh. So, a- as long as you continue to push boundaries, do good work, mm. there's a reasonable expectation nga, nga, there, kanang, that there's income in the future. Murag, there's reasonable expectation ba? Dili siya kanang Murag, uh-huh. you know, because in the beginning, wag yung kay idea. <laughs> Murag yung anang yun. Mm. <laughs> kay yeah. kato yun, murag yung kung pag-quit ato kay ang naaras akong uto kay ganahan kong mag-artwork. Murag yun akong yeah. niya, balik-balik siya. Niya, murag nawala na ang kanang kanang idea nga sige, ingno na ito nga mag-buhat kag-artwork. Niya, next, ana, unsa man, kanang maka mabuhi na baka dayon na na. So, wala na ko to siya na consider ng mga kuan ng mga factors or mga ideas so murag ko nilayat wa murag murag ko nilayat og cliff na di ko sure kung unsay next nga mahitabo so so let's go back to that time daw bai so ni quit kasi mo job it was uh, december ah oh, mga 2014 14 ata oh, 14 ana oh, 15 so hmm. 2014, 2015. I'm more 15 to 15. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, when you quit your job, what did you do man right away? So, what's the matter? Himo na lang kagdaghan kag artwork or did you somehow get your name out there? Did you go to like galleries to say nga morag? Uh, I don't know. What was your step ba? What was your, what's the matter? Kuan. Sa akong, um, ang akong gibuhat ato lang yun kay like nag, like produce og artworks produce lang gyud then dili pa man kayo gyud to kanang daghan og offer but siguro og produce then social media ana so, ah, so uh, mogi post oh, social ana. media ana then eventually kanang kanang nay maka record makabantay na ana then plus factor sad kay ang circle of friends kay kanang kusog sad mag artwork so mato mabira na sa mga show sana then eventually naka solo show balik ana so kana murag repetition lang yun. gibalik balik lang yun ako ang ko art tour kana so bis bisag wala ko ipadol nga show murag na habit na siya nga produce gyud ko bisag wala i show padong ana yeah i think important na mm-hmm. kanang just to keep the muscle going and yeah so what happened nag nagsigira kag himo and then eventually through sheer volume of work you were able to get people interested oh murag ana siguro and of course you're getting better every time uh-huh. you're finding your your style ana mm-hmm. ah, how would you describe your art style ko an siya mas ni gravity siya into pop surreal pop surreal siya so dili siya um realistic like dili siya ni murag mo based on realistic like 
anatomy wise ana mura siya ka ng more of like dilig siya tinood mura mag, somehow magical ana is that what surreal because uh-huh. I, i don't speak art uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> is that what surrealism means oh uh, kanang mura siya kanang dili siya limited with the rea- real reality or the boundaries of real realism ana so ma- medyo mas naganahan yu ko kay kanang dili ko ma ma limit og like dapat ing ani ang braso ing ani ang kamot ana so ana maka all out ko og unsa kong ganahan buhaton yeah because i was i was reading a little bit kanang uh, about you and yeah some people have described your art as like kanang monsters uh-huh. di ba uh-huh. and then nalingo it's it's lingo in a way kay You look at your art for me ba. I look at your art and then of course they're like yeah it's I feel like it's accurate ng mga monsters but dili siya scary. Mm-hmm. Is that like the pop sensibility kuno hoy and it was like I don't get scared but like there's some artwork na mm-hmm. look at it nya mga that's the feeling that I get inside mga mm-hmm. kuyawan ko. Kuan siya kanang ambot for me kay depende gyud pud siya sa taste sa tao kay uh ang sakwag gid nga side kay wala ko nag-aim nga for like mahadlok ang tao ana pero naagi mga tao nga mahadlok sila ana like maka natoy lately nga ni, ang akong character katong dream cloud katong red nga boy na iniingon nga kanang ah unsa man ay mong character mo siya devil ana so sakwa kay murag ah so mao yang point of view ba so nasa ilahi nga point of view nga ko andaw kanang kanang friendly daw tanawon ana so maglahi-lahi ang iyang kuan I was gonna say like, that your dream cloud character that's probably one of the tamer ah uh, tame pag <laughs> one of the tame characters uh, na lang nimo di ba mm. so kan okay it's a reflection of the person ah uh, uh, looking kuan gyud siya ako gyud to ang dream cloud so, ay 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 uh, dapat right. interpretation gyud ba is uh, murag lingaw sad lahi-lahi ang ilang pagtanaw ba mm Yeah, kay I notice like a lot of artists tend to have like different kanang murag different characters, uh-huh. di ba? And then usually it's kana a couple like ma may help pre ni mo ba? Uh-huh. But ikaw, I notice like daghan. I don't uh-huh. know is or is it my perception lang asayop yup, ng murag daghan kikag mm. characters <laughs> <laughs> imong imong art. <laughs> daghan gid siya gid. Bisag ako makaingon nga daghan na day ani eh. Kay Um, mostly good nga characters kay kuan man akong approach siya good more on autobiographics yeah so some characters good kay based on real life or real people so baligi twist na lang nako into sa akong favor nga lahi mo lang ka nako siyang characters ano mo lingaw sad so ma incorporate na nako siya sa akong mga artworks kana siya so, ah, so that's how you have like different mm-hmm. the hundred kayo uh, ah Yeah, kay so gito yo gina nimo. Mm-hmm. So si si Dream Cloud kana siya. That one is that one is you. Ah, uh, kana siya. How did you come up man with that? Is there a story there? Um ang story ana niya kay murag naasad yo kay fascination og kanang cloud. So gi appeal na ko siya then murag red kay ganahan ko sa murag ang red kay mura siya kanang imperative nga color good murag ka nang mood demand sing a tuy tanawa ko murag for me lang for me nga pan so murag siya ka nang nindot siya for like a ma- character nga maka stand out in uh like siguro sa usa ka character kana then murag ang arms raised kay murag siya symbol for me nga murag constantly reaching for my dreams in life or ambitions So medyo corny siya pero mao ganahan ko nga mauto siya ang kuan ma incorporate na ko sa character. So So yeah, because I read something so you're raising the arms and achieving ambitions and uh, what's your ambition? I'm just kanang I'm curious kuan, like, what's your ambitions in life? Um first kato kanang ganahan ko like dili siguro siguro ingon nga like madato gyud nga kuan or ganahan ko kanang like, sustainable or Uh, able to help my family, akong self, ano. Um, 
maka marag fulfilled ko with how I do my craft. So, ana, then somehow maka give back ko with people, ana, with the use of my artwork or my art, ana. Mm, well, yeah, that's the that's what you want. Ah, uh, ganan pa nang ako. Can Can you tell me about your first solo exhibit? Um, on. Do you remember that time? Oh, kuan pa to siya? Uh, raw pagit kay to. Ang title ato kay Leandertals. So, uh, mura siya kanang Neanderthal, kanang karaan nga tao. Mm. So, balagi gamit na ko siya. Gilisan ako ang N to L. So, Lian. So, ako. Mura gigamit na ko akong self as mura center or spotlight nga mura symbolism sa tao. Ana, or how people evolve. Ana, Then, kuan rough pa kaya kung execution, like, magamit ko og acrylics, then, kanang energy, good ba nga nang makahuman ko, usa ka 4 by 5 feet in one night. So, then, kuan Wait, did, did it have that murag? Because right now, you have that saturated, uh, very colorful mm-hmm. look. Did it have that look na back then? Medyo... Puno gya po siya colors, pero mas koan siya in um, earth colors siya. Oh, because... So, brownish, dagan, mas dagan og brown, orange. Yeah, because I was looking at, so I was looking at, like, your work. And yeah, I couldn't really find anything, you know, there's that, that's hard to find, uh-huh. your work in 2015, 2016. Uh-huh. So, more siya evolve, I was looking at the, they had this, I don't know, I just found this on art station. On ya... I guess imo ni siyang murag account. Oh, oh, so what was it, like this? Like, you know this? Like this part? In a way, it has hints for me, huh? For me, it has hints of what your work looks like now, but it's very different. Different feel. Okay. Like this is more similar to, I mean, just in the feel of it, ba? No? So like, I'll link to this in the show notes. It's like an art station account. And then you could see like some of the older works. Kinda, it has a different color palette, I guess. So more like evolve you dang imong in a way. Did you do that intentionally? Did you have um koan sa sa sigi pag like buhat og artwork mo rag ako nang pinpoint ang akong ganahan o ipang usab like sa una ko sub pakay ko mo drip kanang patuloon ako mo rag mo rag ah sige Ang tango na ko nga kuan siguro if mo gamit ko kay dili na permi ana so kadugayan kay mas mal- malingaw na ko nga cleaner siya so mas pulido ana so, ah, so like gi- so over time you uh, just got your own uh, style nga something that you wanted ana mm-hmm. yeah, ang colors kay mas kuan na mas colorful na ana uh, so when did that change ka? Murag ko ana to siya uh, padulong 2000 early 2016 murag nag-start na ko og ingatong uh, shift like brighter mm-hmm. colors na ana. Can is that because I noticed there's like a gap between like uh the brother you sent me you sent me like uh, like when you had mga exhibits. Uh, and then I think I know I think your first one was 2015 16. Um 2000 Thirteen, katong solo ah, na ako. 2013. Ah, mo ba? So you did the show na, you did a solo exhibit niya, then ni work pa ka corporate after. Um, oo, katong nga time kay nato ay like, kanang, kanang more contractual. So, after ato kay mabakante na sad ko, pero passive gya pun. So, dilig yung tingnan nga mag-produce ko. Then, hantod sa naabot nga kanang regular, regular na corporate na gid ba so kato ni quit na ko ato dito na ko nagsugod nga mas grabe na ko production uh, that, that, i was going to ask you ngano na imo ra gap mm-hmm. like na i think a 2 year gap before your next show or something so that's what you were doing oh uh, murag gi murag stepping stone na siya nga practice ana nag digital ko murag balin-balin ko ba para di pa na ko matansya ang akong ganahan gani gid oh like imong so, voice gyud ang imong uh, sani Medyo, and, di pa ko sure sa akong agi ato sa una. So, ito, sige raw, 
practice it. So when did you get confident with Unsani? Kay Murag, it sounds to me like there was a time nga you were trying to figure out pa... Oh, I guess... I guess everybody's still, in a way, trying uh, to figure out what they're trying to do, no? But, Murag, when did you... How, why did you feel like kanang, there's like a drastic change ba? Kung hmm. ano to, Murag... Murag... Ako nang ma... Murag... Ma comfortable na ganyan. Kung uh, magbuhat ko of concept or artwork nga Murag... Ma-mirror na nako siya sa kong self nga ah, kanin ganahan yung kanin or kanin murag ang akong story or akong concept kay murag honest na gud kayo nga ako na siyang ma-express through artwork ba so kana eventually kana, kana nga feeling akong apason sa artwork like kana murag confident ako ma, murag honest na siya for me so, like this is murag uh, this reflects who I am or uh, ana so kana murag nya naabot na ako sa point nga kanang na ilaing mga tao nga mo, di makauyon sa akong sa akong pag-execute pero sa ako akay dili gani ko mo mind nga murag okay lang man imo man ang ako ba sa ako honest ko sa akong artwork nga mao ni ang akong gibuhatan ay ay like this is not for you for ako malingaw ko ani ana <laughs> oh, so uh, murag okay ra kay uh, sharo na ta na ubo banta <laughs> <laughs> so mo to murag eventually murag through constant nga sige ko produce murag Murag, ni-sync na gid siya ba for me sa akong point. To point your own, Murag, sensibility sa imong uh, own taste, uh, sa imong ganahan personally. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Okay. There's a, there's, ako ba, ganahan ako podcast and then there's this guy who makes podcasts, uh, Ira Glass, yung pangan, and then mm-hmm. he has this quote like, I forgot exactly what it says but it's in YouTube. He's talking about like you can't the problem when you get into art is that in the beginning, uh, number one, like, you have a, so you have your ability to make art, whatever it is, mm. no? And then you also have your own taste. So mm. most likely, if you're into a certain medium, a certain art, like, you like consuming that also. So you also have a level of taste. Uh-huh. And But in the beginning, your level of taste is much higher than your ability to make <laughs> <laughs> The art, di ba? Uh, so, in the beginning, sige kaghimo, sige kaghimo, pwede yung kaganahan. Uh, Kay, imong, imong taste, taas mang kayo. Like, you mm-hmm. know, naanad biyata, like, whoever, kinsama imong, who did you look up to when you were making uh, um, art? Like, in the beginning, especially. Um, ganahan yung ko ni Tapaya, Rodel so, Tapaya, yeah. Filipino siyang artist, mm. Manila-based siya. Then, kana mga street artists at sila, Nichols, Ana. sila Crayola mana. Okay, after di ko familiar. <laughs> but I'm sure nga, I'm sure that like in the beginning and maybe even now who knows, I don't know, but like uh-huh. when you were looking at their art and then you looked at yours and you were like, ah. Oh. <laughs> sakita ni oy. <laughs> oh, murag ala yo astino ud di magano. Oh, di ba? Hmm. But eventually over time sige kag padayan padayan yung murag at some point, I'm sure na lipay ka. Uh-huh. In a way, but I mean, delete na 100% lipay, no? Pero, mm-hmm. naayagi room for improvement ba? Uh-huh. Pero, like everybody mong good, naayagi mm-hmm. room for improvement no matter what. Pero, Mark, it's getting closer to what you, mm-hmm. what you like. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the pieces that I also like, said by, is katong, I think it's, is it a piece called like, At Your Own Pace? Ah, oo. Uh-huh. Kato mga shout-out ni mo sa mga... Uh, mga friends to tanan. Oo. Uh-huh. Uh, ang... Yung whole community of artists. Oo. Uh-huh. Balikuan to siya ka ng murasad siya ka ng nod sa ilang mga kaagi balik. Ang uban kay ka ng uh, layo na kayo og agi din ang uban kay starting pa lang. So, murag... Ah, is that uh-huh. why they were like in a line? Oo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Murag sila ka ng parade or murag alakaw sila. Murag siya ka ng... Uh, symbolic for me ka ng kanya-kanya lang kita og pace like dili ni mo maingon ng usa nga ka ng uy paspasin na kay na left behind na ka na so ka na imong pace ra na so ayo lang imay ng laing tao like uh, siguro dawaton ang ang ilang criticism pero at the end of the day murag sila gyapon ang murag mudala sa ilang self ba so kato. we're doing your own thing we're uh-huh. gonna uh-huh. pinalinga ako nga murag you got So it's it's a it's a painting of a of a 
painting ba siya? I actually don't uh, know. Painting it's a painting. Uh-huh. So, it's a painting of the different characters of all of these uh-huh. other artists. So, for example, 